Hello YouTube, Sean Freedom to Ignite here. Turn that air off. There you go. This is the uh, spool, the redhead. Great little pipe. Picked this up at the North American Society of Pipe Collector Show. This is the second time doing this video. Not today, but uh, I like the first one. So, what it is, the review of if, if. It's a review of the uh, GLP's Embarcadero that I just showed you. It's Red Virginia's with Ismar leaf, I believe is what it is. It's supposed to be a light oriental. It's balanced out greatly, uh, or it's greatly. It's got great balance between the oriental and the uh, Red Virginia. Um, a, friend, or a guy I met at the uh, pipe show, new friend named Dan, I believe. I sure hope I get that right because I'm pretty sure he just followed me. So, <laughs> or just subscribe. So I sure hope that uh, I remember his name correctly. If not, please correct me down here. Anyway, um, Dan said that this is one of his favorite tobaccos and gave me the rest of the tin, which I thought was pretty empty when he gave it to me because it was light, but I mean, there's still quite a few bowls left in that. This is my third bowl so far of the Embarcadero. And uh, it's really a nice tobacco. It is hot and humid here in Ohio this time of year. Uh, about 87 degrees right now. And I can tell you, I prefer Virginia's when it's like this. And the Ismar Leaf uh, is a great little, um, a little bite, a little bit more flavor, a little change up from just the straight Virginia's that I normally smoke. So uh, anyway, I thought I would get on here and let you know and thank Dan. Sure hope that's... I've got the name with the right person. I met a lot of people last weekend, a lot of great people, but it's where I think your name is. If not, please do correct me. I'm, I'll be highly embarrassed. But uh, it's a great tobacco. If you have not tried Embarcadero or, like me, have not heard of Embarcadero, go ahead and check it out. It's pretty good. See y'all.